Hey guys, just a quick update today. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have much time in the shop today. I was picking up some contract work in Toronto to help pay the bills. But, since I was in Toronto, I was able to visit another Princess Auto because the local one was missing some of the components I needed. So, so this is a cylinder base. As you can see, they mount onto the pneumatic cylinders. But we're actually going to use it the opposite way. So, this is going to become um, the new external foot for the powered portion of the lower body of the exoskeleton. So basically it's going to attach to the boot and then the cylinder is going to be modular and you'll be able to snap it on to give you that extra uh, 1600 pounds lifting strength. Now unfortunately the rod end attachment for the pneumatic cylinder uh, is not the right size hole and drill bits get pretty expensive. Luckily the only large drill bit I have is a three quarter inch drill bit and it just so happens to be the exact size of this um, cotter pin. So let's drill that hole. All right, so we're gonna use the drill press to drill this hole because when you get into the larger size of drill bits, it's really not that safe to use a hand drill. And because of what we're drilling, we want this to be fairly accurate and we want the hole to be perpendicular to the surface. So let's get started. Okay. Alright, so if you notice the drill bit was uh, really loud and chattering, uh, it's because it's going at way too fast a speed. So when you go into a larger drill bit size, you really need to reduce the speed since um, the speed's proportional to the diameter of the bit, obviously. So, to reduce the speed on this style of drill press, we actually have to rearrange the um, belts on the top to adjust the gear ratio. Alright, so as you can tell, it's cutting through the steel like butter now. That's because we got the right speed and we're using a bit of lubricant. Uh, so let's finish it off. So just going to deburr the edge a bit. So now we can just remove the pin using split ring pliers. Now hopefully this will fit into this. And of course it does not. All right, so unfortunately all the stores are closed, so we can't get another drill bit, but I kind of want to finish this right now. So we're going to use the wobble method instead. What's the wobble method? Why don't I show you? So if this is your workpiece, and that is your hole, and you want that hole to be a bit bigger, you're going to take the drill bit, put it through the hole, and as you're drilling, you're going to wobble it back and forth. So you might remember I said not to use a hand drill with drill bits over half an inch. So don't watch the rest of this video. Oh, that's going to be bad. Ah. Time for the moment of truth. Alright, so as you can see, we got a bit of slop left to right, so we're going to need some spacers in there. And we might as well just make those out of some plastic. I got some uh, scrap UHMW here, and we're just going to use a hole saw to uh, make ourselves our very own washers. Probably gonna have to replace these. Um, the problem with split rings is they wear out pretty quick. You're not really supposed to take them on and off all the time. It's more of service it once or twice. But as you can see, now we have some spacers. There's still a bit of slop, but that's okay. It at least keeps it mostly in the center. And that's all we were really trying to do. Maybe we'll add a metal washer on the outside and then it'll be nice and snug. Alright, so I've ground two edges of one of the socket adapters, and what we're going to do, it's a bit hot still, is now we got a nice surface to weld to, 
and then we can also weld to the other edge and really make that nice and strong. Alright, so we've got the socket adapter welded to the foot piece now, and look how awesome this is. You take your boot, you click it on. So we still need to build up a bit more structure, but you can see how modular this is really going to be. You can literally just plug in your pneumatic cylinders and bam, you can lift 16, 1,600 pounds. So the next step is welding a chunk right here. So I'm just going to grind off the edges a bit to give me a bit of a bevel so I can really fill it with a nice, nice strong weld. And then what will happen is when you're on here, it'll be like you have about a half inch heel, which really isn't too bad for what we're doing. So you'll be able to push forwards a little bit and I'll be fine. So let's do that. All right, so I've beveled all the edges of the two pieces I'm going to weld. It's gonna give me lots of surface area to work with with the weld. And the result is going to be one solid piece of steel. Alright, so we finished the first foot weldment and it's a pretty beefy piece of steel. Just weigh probably weighs a good five pounds. But that's okay because it won't be on the exoskeleton at all times. And it's a bit hot right now, so I'll have to keep the gloves on. But basically what will happen is you can literally step onto it and boom, um, now you've got your powered lower body of the exoskeleton. So as you can see, it is a bit high, the toe's up, but that's okay. It's basically going to be like you're wearing very slight heels, but all the weight's going to push down here, so that's going to flatten itself out nicely like so. Uh, grab the actual cylinder, and that's right there. It's nice and out of the way of the leg, which will go up here, and then you can angle that way. But yeah. So since we have these mounting holes here, we might actually build an even bigger like foot piece with rubber and stuff like that to really turn it into almost like the uh, the mech attachment for the exoskeleton. And again, it just comes out like so. So you'll just be able to step in and step out. We might actually add another one of these on the left side just so you have a double locking motion. And potentially if we want it to lock even better, though I think this is fine because all the force is going down, we could put a uh, pin through the side, but I don't think that'll be necessary. There you go. So this is your actual leg. So as you move it forwards and backwards, and then that guy just goes right there. All right, so we've made a second foot piece for the cylinder mount, and as you can see, the boots just snap on, which is really cool. And then you'll just have the other piece, like so with the cylinder mounted behind like this. So the next step is making the weldment to attach to the hip for the cylinders. And to do that, we're gonna have to cut some steel. Yeah. New favorite toy. All right, that's just about it for today's update. Uh, we got both of the feet pieces made. Uh, now we just have to work on the hips. So next update, we'll be doing hopefully the entire leg and maybe even do a preliminary test um, before we obviously take on the Mini Cooper. So thanks again for watching and stay tuned for the next update.
Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. I've got a big announcement for you. I'm really excited to tell you about it.